And the core PCE, the Fed's favorite inflation gauge, coming in cooler than expected this morning. The report adding a fuel to claims that the Fed could cut rates and rates soon. Joining us now is former Fed Governor Frederick Mishkin. It's great to have you back on the show. It's exactly where I want to start with you, um, is how this sets us up when we've had so many Fed officials come out in recent weeks and say, we're looking at all the data, but PCE is really going to matter the most. How this sets the stage for FOMC and the discussion around rate cuts next week. So I, I don't think there's going to be a rate cut uh, uh, next week, uh, but I do think that the Fed is exactly on the glide path uh, that they want to be on. Uh, and uh, my reason for th and uh, that what we've seen is that they've done two things that were extremely important. Uh, one is that they uh, shifted to a very radical and very sharp increase in interest rates when they had made a mistake of being too low for too long. Uh, that actually reestablished their credibility that they were going to control inflation and uh, comments that they made that they said, if we have to get a recession to do it, we're going to do it. And that actually worked beautifully. It stabilized inflation expectation, extremely important in terms of bringing down inflation. The second thing is that their tightening also actually has softened the tightness of the labor markets. When people look at unemployment rate, which is the number that most people look at, it doesn't look like much has happened there. But on the other hand, better measure of labor market tightness, which I've used in my research and others as well, is vacancies relative to unemployment. And in fact, that actually has come down quite a bit. It, it, it peaked in, in 2022, uh, has come back about two thirds back towards the wet, towards where it was uh, in 2018, 2019. So that's again a big success for them. Uh, and the result of all of this is that inflation is actually on a glide path, a very nice glide path back down to 2%. Now, the reason I think that they have to be a little cautious on lowering uh, interest rates is that they made a mistake with allowing inflation to get out of control. A key part of the element of their success is their credibility. And so to keep their credibility, I think that they have to be somewhat cautious. But right now, there's going to be a lot of discussion of, of, uh, of when we might be able to start lowering rates. Uh, and in fact, I think that's exactly what is appropriate right now. Uh, it, it certainly seems like it's a real tight rope to walk in terms of the credibility piece of this because it, what, finishing last year at a 5.3% policy rate, you're seeing core PC inflation now 3%, 2.9% uh, we'll say today. Uh, it raises the question, is the terminal rate too restrictive? And if the Fed remains cautious because they're concerned about credibility, could they get behind the ball in terms of the disinflation narrative and what that means for their policy? Sure. I mean, I got to tell you, but, you know, monetary policy is not an easy game to play. I mean, I've been involved in this biz business and thinking about it for a lot of years, uh, that uh, it's really hard to get it perfect. It's actually extraordinary how well the Fed is doing. I would never have predicted this. Uh, you know, I was very critical on CNBC starting in, in uh, 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 quite a long time ago that they were, were actually uh, had rates that were much too low for too long. Uh, but they've turned it around. And in fact, the outcome has been better than I would have expected. Uh, that inflation is coming back down. Uh, I thought that we would uh, have a recession as a result, but right now that's not in the cards. So they've done really, really well on uh, on this. And I think that that uh, the problem is you never get it 100 percent right. Mm. Uh, that, uh, if you get it, uh, you know, 80 percent right, you're doing really damn well. <laughs> and, and right now they look like they're doing pretty good. OK, Rick, so how do yields play into this? I'm looking at the 10-year the Treasury yield. It's creeping up, you know, 4.14 now and has been for uh, a few weeks now. D does that play at all into the calculus where you look, how investors should think about uh, how the Fed is handling this and where the markets are likely to go? Well, so I actually think this is part of the good news. One of my concerns was that the market had this view that the Fed was going to cut rates too, too early. And so, uh, and the Fed worked pretty hard to say, you know, we've been doing pretty good, but, but uh, you know, don't, don't uh, get your hopes up too much. And I think that was necessary. I think that the market was a little overreacting. Uh, they were predicting much uh, faster rate cuts uh, and earlier rate cuts than, than I think uh, uh, has transpired and will transpire. Uh, so the Fed basically talked, talked that, that down through it and said, you know, we're not done yet. Inflation is not back to 2%. But now it looks like it's on that glide path. I mean, they're, they're, it's remarkable that, you know, that this is a, that they've been a damn good pilot. That, that uh, right now it looks like they, that, that they can land that plane without, uh, you know, hitting that tarmac too hard. That's fantastic news.